now the next topic is our variation of mass with uh, velocity we have seen that length and time so we know that so we know that uh, t is equal to t not under root 1 minus v square upon c square okay this is the equation number fifth okay so equation equation 4 will be equation 4 will be equation 4 hum le rahe hain jahan vv ki value di thi vv is equal to y upon t to t ki value equation 5 se is pe put up karne pe to vv is equal to kitna ho jayega y upon t not under root 1 minus v square upon c square okay so linear momentum ke hisab se kitna ho jayega m a v a is equal to mv vv to ma va ki value humne pehle hi nikal rakhi hai va v is equal to the hum nikalenge equation first se to kitna ho jayega y upon t not mb vv ki value humne find out kar rahi thi y upon t not under root 1 minus v square upon c square dono cancel ho gaye so M A is equal to M B under root 1 minus V square upon C square. This is equation number 6. Right? If V A day and B B is in case of Dekhraim. Okay? In this case an observer S will see B approaches A with velocity V. Making an glancing closure. So suppose M A is equal to rest mass of rest mass and M B the original mass. So relativistic mass relativistic mass will be M is equal to M naught under root one minus V square upon C square. So this is the formula for variation of mass with its velocity. When we plot the graph of m upon m naught versus v upon c, the graph will be like this. The graph is like this. This is m upon m naught and this is v upon c. This is 0, this is 0 0.5, this is 10, okay, this is 5 and this is 10 so this one prove ki variation when velocity is varied mass is also varied so this equation is very important to relativistic mechanics